they're all letters that are hard for my mouth to make I like witchy things and being queer hey hello team my name is Monique it is a new year which means a new TBR tumbler in case you didn't know this is Book of Truths my channel and I started in October a TBR game called TBR Tombola where I use a bingo machine to pick numbers that I have added prompts to if you would like to check out the full first video I will link it down below otherwise the prompts are also linked in the bio if you would like to play along with me I don't think anyone has yet but it would be good fun if you wanted to but anyway it's January it's 2021 I don't know what that really means or how the world is going to look but we're just going to try our best so normally i pick seven numbers but because i did not quite finish my tbr in december we are adding an additional number slash an additional books i'm not still entirely sure how i'm doing punishment stuff if i'm doing punishment stuff really or if i'm just adding the book that i didn't read to my next tbr so it still gets read but let's just do it so as this month is quite full of some arcs that I really need to read and I'm not entirely sure how I am going to be doing that, I may be changing the books on this list. It is allowed. It is my game. I do what I want. But anyway, let's jump to it. Time to pull some new numbers for TBR Tombola. So number two. First number was two which means it's a reread which i'm very excited about because i have so many books i would like to reread even though i have a lot a lot a lot of books on my tbr but anyway here's the book we're gonna read this is the will of the empress by tamara pierce which is the first book in the third quartet of the emeline circle series this is the circle reopens we are following the same four main characters as we did in the circle and the circle closes I can never remember what the quartets are called. Anyway, Tamara Pierce is my favorite author. In case you did not know, I absolutely adore her. And this is one of my favorites in the series. The Emmeline series isn't as beloved to me as the Tortal series, but I still absolutely like would die lay my life down for each of these characters and in this book they are a little bit older we are fine we are getting some queer rap in this book as well and it is also just a story about how family or found family that may have drifted apart a little bit find each other again and i love it so much and i'm very very excited about continuing on with my circle readathon which i started in 2020 and i will now hopefully finish in 2022 because there's only an, an additional two books besides this one number seven the next number was seven which means a ya fantasy and for that i will be reading one of my arcs i just mentioned this in my hype train video and this is lava red and feather blue by molly ringle it comes out on the 5th of january and it is a queer retelling i guess a little bit of sleeping beauty we have a prince who has been sleeping for eons because as long as he sleeps the evil sleeps as well and then we have a modern day witch called merrick who sort of tingers with curses and accidentally does this in an area around the prince and accidentally wakes him which means that evil is on the warpath and they have to work together to make sure that this evil does not kill everyone on this island i am super excited about it i love the fact that it might be a male male romance i love the fact that it's a prince that's been sleeping and that it is a male witch who comes to the rescue and i'm just so excited about reading this book also the cover is just so cute number 73 the next number as 73 is a retelling or a mythology like mythology book retelling i'm just gonna say retelling and for that i will be finally reading deathless by Catherine m valente this is one of those books that you hear about in like corners of the book community like people will love it or people will be like what is that it is a book inspired by russian folk tales and russian folklore and i believe that it might also be slightly connected to the myths about uh dracula and Vlad the Impaler, that's the one I am looking for. Basically, we follow a young Russian girl called Myra, whose father one day entertains a guest called the Koshia. I will butcher all of these names and I'm really sorry about it. And apparently he is the star of life. And I know that the star is like a king or an emperor. And basically she follows him because he is meant to be her fate. I'm very excited about reading it because it just sounds so good when you read the back. I'm not crazy about the cover though. It's weird, but... Still really want to read it. Number 88. 
So let's pull a chance card. Dun, 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 dun. I will make proper chance cards at one point. Maybe. So let us see what we got. A hype book. That says hype. Can you see that? Wonderful. For 88, we had a chance card. And for that chance card, we had a hype book. And I will now finally, finally, finally be reading Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, which is a queer magical realism story following Yadriel, who is trying to prove to his family that he is a real brujo, which means that he can help spirits cross into the other world. And he is proving to them that he can be a man of the family. And in his family, the women have one kind of magic and the men have another. So he sets out with his cousin to sort of help a spirit transfer, but accidentally he brings back the school bully instead. And he will not cross over until Yadriel has helped him um, I believe take revenge. It might not be exactly revenge, but I'm super duper excited about reading this one. I have heard nothing but praise for it. I am so excited about it. It's meant to be a really cute little standalone and I'm just, I'm very excited about reading it. Number six. Next up is number six, which is another YA fantasy. And I have snuck in some dragons in my TBR and I'm very, very, very excited about it. And I will finally be reading this one. This is Fireborn by Rosaria Munda, which is a dragon novel. I'm very excited. Apparently it follows in the footsteps of a rebellion where the middle class sort of threw over the nobility who were like, I don't know if they were evil or what, but they were basically taken over and they were the only ones who had access to, to, to these dragons. And now everyone can become a dragon rider. And basically we are following two different POVs. We are following a young girl whose family died, I believe in the revolution. And we are following a young man who I believe may have been the old sort of leader's son, but no one knows that. And they grow up together. I believe they have some romance going on. And then a new rebellion is brewing because the nobel nobility wants their places back. I've heard very good things about this one and I can't wait to read it. Number 49. And another chance card. <laughs> Let us pick this one eh, yeah okay are you prepared in this jar i have some books that i'm not sure about really about keeping and we are going to reread one and then we we will keep it if we like it what do you say Mistwood. Okay, 49 is another chance card, which as you just saw was an ink book. And for that is Mistwood. And Mistwood by Leah Cypress is a weird little standalone book that I read. When did I go to America? 2013, so seven years ago. The story follows Isabel, who does not remember anything other than the fact that she is meant to be the protector of this castle. But the castle is surrounded by the mist wood, which calls to her. She doesn't know why it might be calling to her or why she feels like she is connected to it, but she will find out why, even if she has to give her life for it. I remember it being like quite an interesting read, and it's also short and sweet, so I'm very excited about putting it on my TBR. And number 59. That's my last number. We have 59, which is a book outside of my regular genre. And for that, I will be reading a contemporary romance. And I will be reading Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, which is a contemporary sort of a romantic, sweet little male, male romance. I believe we are following the Prince of England and the sort of Prince of America because a Latin woman is the president of America and they together may or may not have a little hate, love, romance going on. I've heard so many, many booktubers love this one. I've also heard people that hate it a little bit. So I'm excited to see where I land on that sort of equation. I'm also hoping that because it is a contemporary that I can read it quite fast. So I could just chuck these out. And then if I do finish Red, White and Wall Brew, which I have a really hard time saying because 
they're all letters that are hard for my mouth to make is that a sentence not at all i will also on the side be reading queering your craft by cassandra snow which is a book that was sent to me by the publisher and i'm very excited about it it's just meant to sort of be a, like a diy witchy ish book but also may be looking into how wiccan can connect with their queer identity and i'm very excited about reading it because i like witchy things and being queer and then i have decided that as a punishment for not finishing my TBR last month, I will literally just add the book on that I did not read. Is this baby? This is Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames, where we follow a group of mercenaries who used to be like the heroes and are now just old grumpy men. And they set out to find the guards to sort of ask why there's still so much chaos when they tried to fix it. Or at least I believe so anyway there's a mission and they all meet up again i've heard amazing things about this one but i've heard even better things about bloody rose which is the sequel where we follow the daughters of one of these men and i'm just very excited about reading it so that is my punishment that i will literally just add it on to my pile so this is my january tbr i want you to pretend that there is an additional ebook on here and then there is also an additional possibly four books that i really need to read because i actually really want to read my arcs before they come out because otherwise i feel like a terrible person all of these are e -arcs. i'm just very excited about it because i'm trying to become friends with publishers and get things you know because i like books and i want to read them before everyone else so that i can scream about them but anyway this is my january tbr tomboller i love my little game i hope you enjoyed it too if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me and then i will just love you forever because that is who i am and then remember that i'm proud of you you're doing great it is January, it's 2021, we can do anything. Still stay at home though and wear a mask because we're still in the middle of a pandemic. So hoping you're enjoying yourself and I'll see you really soon with another video. Bye. Like the count of whatever he would have the count of. I'm sure it was a count of something or is that just like a thing?